So we have just completed our four-part beginner's guide to starting a city with SimCity. And what we're looking at is, if you've been watching those four episodes, this is the city that, that we created. When I completed those four episodes and I did a wrap-up and next steps video, that's where I, I, I basically said, is there anything else that you want to cover? Because we still have the city. We've not deleted it, as you can see. We've got the region. So I basically posed the question of what do you want to do next with this city, if anything. Uh, the comments that I've gotten have been regarding specializations. I've gotten comments about how do you get a city to interact with other city plots and and the wonderful thing about that is is it really does fit nicely with where we are with this city so that's what i want to do i want to do an episode in which we get started with uh, a specialization and the specialization that we'll do is oil because the comments were not specific on what type of specialization so feel free to leave in the comments a specific specialization but let's work on oil uh, the other thing that i want to keep in mind is this city was really geared towards getting a city going without specializations so we don't have a lot of room for specialization we can get one started but we can make enough money where we can go to another city and work on specializations in that city as well as that will give us the opportunity to send services to that city. So when we left off in, in part four, I created this side road to illustrate how if you were getting into, or if I were getting into a specialization, I would not want that specialization, those trucks to have to compete with traffic within the city so what i like to do is right off the roundabout i like to create a road wherein the only traffic going along this road is traffic geared towards the specialization what i like to do is i like to do oil fortunately when we were designing this city we've got a plot of oil right below here so let's get started we're going to do uh, oil, and then let's move it over here. So once again, we are not really taking advantage of this plot of um, oil, this oil reserve to its fullest. But for demonstration purposes, this is going to work just fine. So this is our oil well. It's closed. It has to hire individuals. Let's go ahead. We need to get down some additional things let's click on the oil well let's edit of course we have to put down our sign you can put down a total you can max it out at 10 We're going to lose some industrial buildings, but that's fine for what we're trying to accomplish. Let's do some more. All right, so this is a, a modest oil field. We didn't max it out, but it's, it's going to work just fine for what we're wanting to accomplish. Let's pause because there's some other things that we're going to need to do, but let's take a look at this. Let's click on it. So it is closed. It has not hired anyone. As you can see, the hourly expenses have gone up because we've put down some additional pump jacks. We haven't started pumping any oil, so that's why it says zero barrels per day. Once we actually get it up and running, it will show us how many barrels of oil we are pumping. It will also show us how much more oil is available. Oil, coal, and ore 
are not infinite products. So underneath our, our oil well, you'll see that the oil deposit is represented as a solid black mass. We have another deposit here as well as one there. Over time, as we start drilling and, and pulling out the resource of oil, the color is going to start to fade and it's actually going to look a lot like the colors that you see on the peripheral of this oil well. So that's, that's one thing to keep in mind. When you're doing oil, ore, or coal, those are not resources that are going to last forever. They will run out. The other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a trade depot. Now we do have trade depots, but I want to leave these reserved for my industry, number one. And number two, we could possibly get away with it here, but I want to really illustrate how I want to have everything con contained within its own specialization neighborhood. So let's do... So now it comes with a freight shipping warehouse. I don't want to leave that. The game is going to want to send freight from industry here, and then that's going to start to be counterproductive because we're going to be start getting traffic that I don't want. I want this solely geared towards oil. So we just put down a sign. We put down a freight truck garage. Now let's do a crude oil storage lot because we only have one oil well with not maxed out pumping jacks. This should be, this should suffice. Once we put down the oil, let's click on manage global market deliveries. What we want to do is we want to export our oil and we're going to export it at 9,000 simoleons for every 1,000 barrels. We now have an oil well that is working. The pumps have started. We're still waiting for some of the pumps to get going, but we are now in the process of extracting oil from the ground. We're at 125 barrels. We just went up to 175. So over time, this will start to extract and when storage is full, and you can click on either the oil, or you can click on the trade, and you can see that it is starting to fill up with crude oil. Once it is full, then the delivery truck will take it over to the trade depot, and then we will get a delivery from the from the global market to pick up the oil and we will make uh, 9,000 simoleons for that delivery. We now have over 1,000 barrels of oil. There is one of our delivery trucks. Our oil just got depleted from here and then the truck is going to go here and we got oil there and of course that oil that you see over there is oil for our oil power plant we now have oil in storage we have set our depot to export so now it's just up to the game, the simulation, to send a truck from the global market to pick up our oil and then we can make a profit. If you'll look in the distance, coming down the road is a truck that's about to enter our city. This truck is coming from the global market.
Crude oil delivery truck. Picking up crude oil for the global market. It came from the region. So this is not one of my trucks. This is a truck that is being generated by the game. And by putting this road right on the roundabout, now we do not, whatever traffic issues we may or may not be having in the city, we're trying to minimize time wasted for the delivery trucks. Truck comes, it picks up oil, and crude oil delivery truck leaving the city. It's got a full 1,000 barrels of oil, and it's left our trade depot, and it's heading to the global market. It did not have to deal with a lot of traffic. When we click on our finances, we'll see here if we've been paying for crude oil to come in for our power plant. But now, look, we've made a profit on our oil. I've added an extra depot for oil and we are making a modest profit we are now at 2925 barrels a day we now have had three shipments of oil and in addition to the fact that the city is fiscally responsible in making money from a tax income. We are now also doing well with our transactions. The only traffic is traffic employees coming to work and traffic for the specialization for oil. So we have let the game run for a while. We are now at the point where in a day we are extracting 7,600 barrels of oil and it is now calculated crude oil under this building. We have a seven month supply of crude oil. So as we talked about, it is not an infinite amount of oil. And if you'll look, you can see how underneath the well, the color has started to change just a bit over time. Even this dark color would start to, to fade. But it is starting to fade. We now have a seven-month supply of, of oil. So it's really important that... When you're doing oil, ore, and coal, that you're always thinking ahead to the future as far as what, what are your plans when your resource runs, runs out. We have been making a nice profit, even with a, a small one oil well setup that's not even maxed out. We've been making a good profit. So... This is our tax income, and this over here is our transactional income. So as you can see, it's, it's a healthy income. We have now got a city that has crossed over the 1 million simoleon mark. It's actually one point, almost 1.5 million. What you can do, as long as you remember to change it when, when you run out, this is set up when we started this city. We set it up to bring in global deliveries of crude oil, and each global delivery is 9,000 simoleons. We can turn that off. We are set up for local deliveries of crude oil. So that is now going to use oil that we are bringing in. So now all we're going to be doing is, is making a profit. So as you can see, we've got many, many 
uh, exports of crude oil. So that is a great, great start to this industry. And what I have just done for crude oil is exactly what you would do also for the mining. So when it comes to coal or the ore, same process. The one thing that you want to keep in mind, the game does have a higher water need for ore and coal, which is one of the reasons why I tend to do oil. But other than that higher water requirement, the process is, is the same. You put down your primary base, whether it's oil or coal, and then you add your additional modules to extract and then you take that product and you send it to the trade depot from there then you can move on to higher levels you can unlock an oil refinery you can unlock the petroleum if you're doing oil you can unlock smelting or the advanced coal mine those are all things that you can unlock i have tutorials that go into that I'm wanting to just go into the basics of, of this particular specialization.